Right then guys, before we start this week's video, I'd like to thank everyone who subscribed to the channel. Uh, and for those of you who are watching for the first time, uh, welcome, my name's Rich. It's my VW T25 that we've called Poly Grey. Um, what, we put a video on every week um, of me trying to fix her up back to being a camper, something you might find interesting. You know what, subscribe to the channel and follow us on our journey. Uh, for everyone else as well, we've also uh, started an Instagram channel um, so um, that's uh, V Dub Poly Grey. Uh, follow us on there. We put pictures. We put pictures up every day, so you get a bit of a sneak preview of what's coming up in uh, sort of next week's video. So, guys, thank you very much for subscribing. Enjoy the video, and I'll see you in a sec. Good morning guys, uh, welcome to this week's video. Uh, I'll just show you what we're going to be doing. This video, we're going to be painting inside this um, sliding door and replacing that rail at the bottom. It's a little bit rusty, hopefully everything will clean up alright once, uh, once we've got that up. Uh, if not we'll have to do some more welding. And then while we're at it, we may as well the sliding doors there we might as well paint the inside that before we put it back on so all the insides are painted of that as well just turn you back around right I will put a video on about how I got the door off um, at the time um, to be fair I got my two lads helping me and they wasn't much help uh, as you can imagine uh, 12 and a 14 year old trying to help that only play Xboxes um, so we managed to get it off um, it's fairly easy to be fair um, I'll, um, I'll show you though, I'll put a video, video on or maybe I'll put it back on. Obviously it's just in reverse. Uh, fairly straightforward though. I did look on YouTube and there wasn't many videos on YouTube to be fair about to take it off. Um, but yeah, I'll put some on. Maybe, maybe there's some interest to somebody if they're, you know, some tasks can seem quite daunting, can't they, until someone does them first and talks you through how they did it. So I'll do that. Right, I'm gonna crack on with some work. Yeah, it's um, it's a great tool. This is I uh, lent this off my uh, father-in-law. Um, it's source, it's a drill. You can put attachments like that to get into the rust. Uh, I just use this kind of attachment as a chisel, so that come off like butter. To be fair, uh, I also used it when I did the rear quarter panel repair. Um, yeah, as I say, yeah, good tool. This is my father-in-law. Me and my father-in-law have got a, a, a good relationship when it comes to tool. Uh, it's sort of like what's his is mine type of thing that we've got going on. Um, so we sort of share our tools. Um, what I tend to do then is I, I, if you asked him, he'd probably say that I just went and out myself. But what I tend to think about what happens is I take them and then I keep them stored safe in sort of my shed. Uh, and then if he ever needs them, you can just ask for them back. But yeah, great tool uh, of ours. This is Arnold. I'm glad we, uh, I'm glad we purchased this. It's brilliant. Thank you. Right, guys, quickly show you. It's a. Uh... It's pretty good metal beyond there to be fair. It's um it is thick. Um the only place where it's gone there is is it's that little section there. Um I'll probably um I'll probably cut that section out to be fair. And just I've got some thick enough metal, I think I've got some 1.4. Um 
I'll just put it in there and then weld that on top. I'm going to carry on. I'll give it a little bit more of a clean up. It is clean up really quite well. Um, and it, it, whatever I can't get to, I'll put some rust converter. Weld the um, weld that moulding on. Um, but while I'm at it, I might as well clean it before I weld it. I'm going to clean all in it. It's easy to get to. Um, and do all that ready for sort of throwing some paint on maybe later on today or tomorrow. So I'm going to keep carrying on, cut this out. Um, probably take me all day to weld that patch in as you we know my welding is not great um, but yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna weld a patch in there and then put the um, put the molding on top well put that put that runner for the molding on top stay tuned right then guys cut that patch out there I made a patch for it um, back on doing some more welding I guess um, get that welded in might as well it got holes the rest though so it should clean up quite nice so and then we can put that molding on the top and then we'll worry about all in here and are we going to get paint in there and so it doesn't rust through again um yeah so back to more welding yeah this is another good uh, tool that my um one of my subscribers told me to get if you're doing any welding make sure you it's really cheap off eBay, but make sure you purchase yourself some sort of magnetic welding clamps. It makes the job so much easier. So, can't remember who it was in the comments now, but whoever suggested buying them, thank you. Great tool. Right then, so welded that patch in there. There was a big rust hole. Oop, pardon. There was a big rust hole there, wasn't there? So, welded that patch in there. All I've done with that now is I've put the rust converter on. There was little bits of rust left, so I've just covered it with. Um, or say surface rust uh, covered that with the rust converter um, and now I'm gonna put some weld through primer on and then I'm gonna try and weld this um, this molding um, what's it called this thing that holds the molding on I guess um, that's been crap explanation <laughs> for it but I don't know what else it's called and we'll get that welded back on um, I've cleaned out all inside these runners um, cleaned out, give all that a good clean out so I can get it coated in paint um, so I'm going to carry on with that I'll, um, I'll let you know when it's all welded on hopefully so did everyone enjoy uh, the Black Country quiz so for those who got it right so jamming Black Country is lucky well done to everyone who's got that right this week I'm going to do slightly something different I haven't heard it for a while myself and Someone said it the other day and I found it quite funny and I knew to say it so this week's Black Country Word if anyone wants to have a go and stick it in the comments below is puss. Grab me puss, it'd be used in the phrase so if anyone knows the word puss stick it in the comments below. If you're enjoying the Black Country quiz just let me know in the comments as well. It's just a bit of fun isn't it? Um, other than T25s and loads of welding and loads of rust so um, guys have a go. Thank you. Morning guys show you where I got to yesterday so plug welded the um, molding strip on um, and threw just some it was a weld through primer I just threw some of that over just to protect it so today we're going to be using that uh, combi colour again um, and we're going to concentrate really on just making sure all inside this this inner door all inside there is paint so we can put the sliding door back on so that's our job for today um, I'm gonna crack on with it obviously talk you through guys what I'm doing um, so my, my, my main priority when I'm gonna be doing this not really gonna go in for any kind of finish um, but we just really want to make sure that everything in there's covered got paint covering it because obviously we don't want it to go rusty again um, it goes on a lot of vans from what I've seen on YouTube and forums um, so we want to be really making sure this has got a good coverage of paint so the rust doesn't come back through right then guys we'll catch you all in a sec right then guys I've been spending the last hour or so um, prepping all the insides of this with your prep work um, just take your time your prep work's going to be everything text few seconds to throw some paint on but if you've made any mistakes you can't go back once you've put your um once you put your paint on well you can you've just got to start all over again so make sure it's clean we use um 
like a vehicle body prep uh, that get, gets all sort of grease and that off. Um, I've also, I wasn't going to do this yet, but I thought, you know what, why I've got this side off, I might as well paint the colour I want um, on that rail and then I can forget about that. I know I'll have to flat it back a little bit when I paint the side, but I've took all off all around here, so um, let's throw some paint on. I'll show you what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it. Um, I'll get these to film and I'll try and explain how these spray guns work if you're new and you, you're just doing this yourself. Um, and now I'm going to do it. So just bear with me just a sec. So, right then guys, I've bought this um, spray gun. It's uh, a Clark's, it's from Machine Mart. It's quite budget to be fair. It's about, um, I think it's about 25 or 20, about 29 quid, say, with the VAT. Um, but most spray guns work exactly the same. I'll explain it to you for those who don't know anything. So the 1.4 tip, um, which is what you really want if you're sort of using it for obviously finish coat. Um, don't go any bigger. I'll go the only time I go to a 1.8 if it's just putting primer on. Um, I haven't got a spare primer gun, but if you, you, you want to buy a primer gun, just go as cheap as cheap as you can, it doesn't really matter. So I'll just expand the gun. So obviously, it's normally standard on all, no matter whether 25 to 300 pounds. Your bottom, your bottom screw, you can hear that go up adjust the air pressure you normally want to spray about two and a half bar um, we'll turn it down for doing this because we just want to get some paint on you trigger in the middle adjust the fan um, we'll show that on a test piece in just a sec um, but we'll probably go with a tiny fan because like we just want to flick some paint here but all we're interested in when we're doing this at the minute is just getting some paint on we don't worry about a finish because you're not really going to see it um, and then the trigger there adjusts the trigger on the back. If you wind it in, it adjusts adjusts the needle and it adjusts how much paint comes out basically. And they're as simple as that. So at the minute, it's because I'll paint that tower, guys. It's set a full fan. So I've got that hardly blowing any paint out, so I can get some coverage. The reason I've done that. Is that I don't want two paint coming. There's such tricky areas. I don't want too much paint coming out. Um, so I'll get runs. All I want to do is I want to get some paint. I want to get a first coat of paint on there. So we'll, we'll, we'll start with just screwing down the edges. On this journey, we will find. Our souls begin to intertwine Your heart of gold so pure, divine And I Lost myself within the fire Breaking free from my desire A heart of gold forged to inspire It's starfire All I've done there is I've just adjusted, obviously get some more paint in here, so I've just wound that out to let some more paint out and you'll notice the difference straight away. Do I? it for the first coat so you don't have to cover it all in the first coat just just all you got to do is a gripper coat a gripper coat means a gripper coat means that um we just want to we want the want the paint to start drying quite quick but we want it to go tacky when it goes tacky that's when you can test it on the paper that's when you want to put your next coat on if you're doing it on a panel that's the point now to put your finished coat on so it doesn't really matter too much inside the doors um we just need to get some paint on um, but yeah, you can see that even for one coat, that's starting to look a little better. So we'll give it about five or ten minutes and we'll put another coat of paint on. Go on. So when your paint's tacky, give it about ten minutes. Um, it's outside so it's quite warm. You can, when it's on the inside, you can touch like little bits of tape. Um, obviously you don't see this, just, just when it's, some people use the hairs on the back of the hand and stuff to stick in it. But once it's tacky, the same again, just repeat the process and then make sure just double check that you've gone round and all your everything's covered. 
Uh, and if you need to give it another coat after that, you can do, but just, just, just take your time with it. On this journey we will find Our souls begin to intertwine Your heart of gold so pure, divine And I Lost myself within the fire Breaking free from my desire A heart of gold forged to inspire It's starfire It's Starfire. 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 Right guys, right guys, uh, I'm going to wrap it up there for today. Um, so insides are all painted, inside of that sliding door, as you've seen. Um, threw some paint over that again, and then obviously all that gets covered. Uh, I can walk, I can go over this all again when I sorry I'll go over all that again when I paint uh, paint the whole side. Um, obviously, I just want to get the insides done, um, and then tomorrow I'm going to paint the inside of the tailgate. Uh, it's inside of the tailgate. Tomorrow I'm going to paint inside of the sliding door, so I can fit the sliding door, um, and then all I've got to worry about, and then I'll take this door off, paint the insides of that door. Um, also if you're new to painting and it's your project like it is mine i'm lucky enough i used to paint before but if you're not and it's something that you're not it's your sort of your weak point um and you haven't done it before i'll try my best to talk everyone through it how i do it but starting with the insides of the doors inside the tailgate it's going to get you your practice that when you can get you build your confidence levels up for when you start painting inside actually sorry when you start painting outside so persevere with it just take your time um, I'll show you some tips and tricks um, on the outside. We're going to spray paint this, but don't forget with this um, Rust-Oleum Combi Color, um, they suggest you can roll this on. Um, so I will. I'll show you even if you get a pretty bad finish or it's very orange peely or whatnot, how to flat it back and mop it up so it looks like glass. Um, and we'll, we'll go through every stage, even if we get some runs in or whatever. We'll, I'll talk you through how to get rid of them. Uh, and whatnot. So I'm doing this for. If you know how to paint, fair enough. Uh, I'm doing this for people that don't, and trying to give them a little, little bits of tips and little bits of confidence. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Right then, guys. Oh, <coughs> sorry. Right then, guys. Good morning. So put the sliding door back on. Uh, it's a bit of a mission, to be fair, and to film. Um, we just me and Lisa uh, trying to get it on. You will need two people. Um, and I'll um, show you what I've been up to so we all know from obviously we've painted inside the door uh, yesterday I didn't film but I'll quickly show you just bear with me I'll turn you around and we'll go inside shut the door so yeah I spent yesterday, I didn't film it, it's exactly the same process as what we did on the outside, but um, quite sunny today, so it's playing up with my camera. And I, and I haven't got a, a proper sort of video camera or whatever they call them now. Um, I'm using my phone, so yeah, grayed all inside and fitted the door back on. While I'm in here, I may as well explain how we took the door off. It is going to be quite tricky myself showing you why it's on, obviously, but I'll, I'll explain how I got it off in case anyone's doing a similar job um, it looks quite daunting it's not really you will need two people um, basically just to hold the door um, and obviously to move it but I'll show you what we did I did it with Lisa we, 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 we didn't know what we do we just figured it out so the first thing you need to do obviously you need to strip all your door down and just you need to undo that bolt first so undo that bolt uh, and remove it completely and then I'll show you what to do. Go back on the outside. You'll need as well, God, the light's terrible, I apologize guys. So what you'll need to, you'll need something like, I used a pallet and a couple of blocks of wood to sort of, to rest the door on. That Well, that edge, the bottom of that door on. 
So, second thing you need to do, see if I can get you in there. Can you see those? There's two bolts behind there. So they need removing. And then obviously, this door then will drop down. So that's where you need to rest. You need to rest the bottom corner there on some blocks. Um, and then this rail will remove completely out, pull that out. Next thing you need to do, I'll show you, is you need to undo that bolt there at the top. Um, 13 mils, everything's 13 mils, so four in total. So you'll need to undo that bolt and you need someone obviously to hold the door to stop it falling out. Now, the only tricky bit, and this is where you're gonna need two people, and I'll quickly show you. I've put it back in now, but you need to you need to remove that bong there. Now this now doesn't pull straight out, if you get what I mean. So I'll explain what you have to do, like my phone's the door. <laughs> it's probably the best way. So with the sliding door, the sliding door's that way at the minute, what you need to do is you need to turn the door. Is it 90 degrees? Yeah, so you need to turn the door out like that. 90 degrees so the roll has come out through there and then you want to pull the door this way and then that's the door off obviously to put the door back on I did it slightly differently and I'll explain what I did just quickly for you so same process there at the bottom in at 90 degrees turn it round put that bolt back in the top and then what I actually did and I found it was easier I slid the door and I closed the door on uh, and then I and then I'll then put this um, this bracket in, the sliding door sort of bracket as you call it in. And that was it guys. So yeah, job's done anyway, all inside's nicely painted. Um, so that's a job well done. Um, so guys, that's gonna be pretty much me done for this week. Um, next week, um, stay tuned. I'll show you what we're gonna be doing. Um, so I'm going to have to turn you back around again, sorry. I'm going to have to turn you back around again, sorry. So I think this was a van originally. And I've got, where my moulding comes out, I've got a gap and I thought it had rusted through, but it's not, it's just where it's been cut. So I'm just going to be welding in a little bit more material there, on there. And then I've been promising it for ages and then jobs just take longer and then I'm going to paint inside these two. Um, well, I'm certainly going to do inside this door um, for next week. Uh, and that's it guys so guys again thank you very much uh, if you like the videos please comment like and subscribe uh, you can also find us as well on uh, Instagram um, VW Polygray uh, check that out as well and um, follow that as well because we put we put a lot more photos of the progress through the week um, so please follow that as well guys again stay safe uh, thank you very much um, your comments and that just keep pushing me through this project it's brilliant thank you um, so guys thank you again I know I keep saying the word thank you but thank you um, and I'm going to crack on with a little bit more work for next week's video while the weather's lovely um, so see you all soon cheers